certain feeling to it that you only know if you've really done it. And uh, it feels good because it's hard work while you're there, but afterwards when you see the results of your training, your accomplishment, um, I don't know, that's, that's really inspiring. It, it shows you that all, all good things come out, of, come out of like hard work and you have to go through a lot of the pain to get there, but that's what it kind of shows you. So, I don't know, you go up in there, you, you start off, you don't want to go give it all out at first, you know, that beginners make that mistake a lot. You gotta, um, you gotta like, do th throw some fakes, just throw some like light punches, kind of see how they react, but be cautious. See how they react to, you try out multiple things, jabbing, you know, right, you right, just see how they react, come in for a punch, and then see, see what they, see what they are gonna throw back at you. And you just have to recognize those patterns and like the habits that they have. And then what you have to do is not just make them make mistakes, but then capitalize on those mistakes. So you, you just have to be watching. You have to be thinking. People think boxing is all about a physical sport. Um, no, uh, you get you get to the high level, and uh, you get to the really really high level. You know the pros, Floyd Mayweather number one, and they'll tell you. You watch interviews. It's not even about physical. It's not even about that at all. You have to be really smart in here. Stupid people don't make it in boxing. That's what street fighting is. When I when I first came here, like it just showed me a completely uh, different aspect of you know, my community, and um, to get to know to get to know really what that's all about has just been one of the major things in my life. That's just changed my changed my perspective on things. Um, just getting to know the kids' stories growing up in you know West Park or something. You know you don't really know what is no, you don't you hear about this stuff but you have your own ideas but you don't really know the reality of the situation and meeting all these kids and and now my, most of my friends come from East Palo Alto and that's probably because of the gym instead of there um, there's something more humble about it more um, more uh, I don't know it feels more real to me what it does it gives them hope that they can go out there and make it they, that they don't have to be tied in with a game that they don't have to, they don't have to uh, 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 go out there and hurt somebody, you know, just to fit in. I mean, I mean coming up in a community like this, you know, it's, it's very diverse, right? You know, it's all different nationalities and young people. And, and what they seem to do with young people that are from different races and creeds and stuff, they seem to pit them against each other in communities like this. And what this boxing club seems to do is to bring them together. Let them know that they ain't about that. You know, it ain't about the color of your skin. It's what's in your heart. It's your character. You know? And they, they, and they find things like that out, you know? And it's like when you step in that ring, it ain't no color in that ring. It's your opponent. He can be purple. You got to get with him or he going to get with you. So it ain't, it ain't about that.